Welcome back from that particular break. And you know I said your time that today we'll be actually having a special guest that will be gracing the show. And the name of the special guest is Queen Fumelayo Obisheson, who happens to be uh, an international and national athlete for Nigeria. And she's actually a very wonderful person who has achieved a whole lot with Nigeria and on the international scene. And sitting uh, from a far left is the coach of uh, uh, Queen Obisheson, talking about Latin. Michael Obisheson. Uh, guys, let me start with you, Queen. Good afternoon. How are you doing? Good afternoon, Doctor. I'm fine, thank you. I, I can see the smile on your face, and I can see that everything you've done in sport is really, really actually showing on your face. <laughs> no, no. God, all the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me come to you, Kochi. Uh, talking about Michael Obisheson. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Uh, now, let's talk about uh, you now. Being a coach, before you venture into coaching, you did partook in athletes. Yes, yes or no? I, I was once in the combined event. Mm -hmm. I was doing 10 event athletics and I was brought up by Germany. Then, uh, you know, those in the early 70s, we have uh, the Germans running the national school sports, so they used me for uh, practicum. So, through that, uh, I was coached, I went through good techniques, so I was opportune. Like, how old were you when you were doing this? I was like uh, 14, 15. Okay, good. Go, go, go. Yes, 14, 15. So that's the learning age. So I was lucky being trained by, by a German foreigners. So, and afterwards, when they left the country, I had to switch from competing into uh, coaching because there's nobody to, to, to assist help. me. Mm. So uh, that's a problem we have with coaching in Nigeria because uh, we don't have more uh, expatriate that coaches. They left the country and that was the beginning of the problem. Okay, that was the beginning of the problem. Let's now talk about your achievement as a coach. Yeah, to go be the glory, you know, uh, after a bit of struggling, I was opportune to go to uh, university in Mainz University in Germany, in Germany uh, where I studied athletics coaching, and uh, we were we brought up in that field with the German techniques. And by the time I came back, I discovered when I was there, I discovered that uh, in Nigeria we don't have a uh, Povot women, mm. we don't have uh, Hammer women, mm. so I started learning Hammer and a Povot over there. By the time I came back, I started uh, developing Hammer women in Nigeria, and uh, in all this achievement, we won a lot of internet competition. And you can see in the, in the, the only goal we have in the athletics, the Olympic gold, is won by my athlete, Choma Juma. Mm. I was the one that coached her from the junior to the senior to the Atlanta 1996 Olympic, where she went there and got 7.12 mm. gold medal. So, and later I was drafted in a, during the Koja to go and help the Paralympic, the disabled athletes. So they called me a uh, dual citizen because in the end, after the Koja, we qualified to go for the uh, 2000 and. Uh, 2004 Olympics. Yeah, in, in, uh, 2004 in, Olympics. Yeah, in United. United. Mm. So I went there with the top army. We won. We won about six. No, about six gold medals in Olympics. We broke the world record in the 400 meters, on, in the 100 meters uh, partial blind, and then in the uh, this uh, what they call a uh, polio. You no, know, they have uh, one strong leg and one yeah. weak leg. Yes. We won. We we, we broke the world record in the javelin. Mm. So we won about six schools. Working with the Paralympics. Paralympics. Yep. So I was in the Nebu and also in the Paralympics. <laughs> so you know, transfer of knowledge. Of course. And in the, in the Paralympics, it's very awesome. You know, you, you see there is ability, and all you need to do is start to work on the weak aspect of it, and then you do some manipulation of the back particular uh, column. You know, when the back is okay, the performance will be okay. Of course, of course. Because they do say it like this, that in disability, there is always an ability. Ability, yes. And yes. that is what our coach, Michael Latif, has actually spotted in all these guys to making sure that they become a world and international uh, record holder. Let, let me come to your queen, Obi. Uh, I'll be sharing some rather. Actually, let's talk about you, how you did start. Yeah, I started as... Uh a fitness instructor after putting to bed my first baby no my second baby baby boy i said okay i want to get this fat off i came into athletics but all all along my all my life it's been sport from primary school secondary school but at the point i stopped then came back after having my second baby to lose weight in the form of losing weight i saw the pool i love pool 
because it's only it's, it's an event that you get to celebrate when you're in here <laughs> before landing on the pole. <laughs> so I tried the pole vault, which I won bronze medal in for Lagos State in uh, Kada. Kada Games okay. National yeah. Sport Festival in yeah. Kaduna. Mm. Then after some time. I stumbled, I would say I stumbled to Amathro. <laughs> you did stumble to <laughs> Yeah, Amathro. because it helped me to lose the weight. Okay. Then I fell in love with Hama. Well, I can see you have a whole lot of muscle. <laughs> if you say that. <laughs> <laughs> so I stumbled to Amathro. Then I fell in love with Hama. <laughs> you fell in love with Hama. And with since Hama you become an Hama thrower, how is the experience like? It's been up and down, up and down, up and down. Coping with trading, coping with family, coping with studies, it's been a whole lot. Um, thank God, it's, it's God all the way. Because if I sit back and I look at my life, I say, wow, how did I do this? But it's God all the way, I would say. But talking about God all the way, let's actually look at your achievement and future event. Let's talk about your achievement. You mentioned the way you started, talking about... Uh, after you put to bed at uh, the second baby, you were trying to like shed the weight and at the long run you see yourself up partaking in some sport. Like we are seeing on the TV screen, you are throwing a hammer. <laughs> so don't throw a hammer to me yet. No. <laughs> <laughs> but let's talk about your achievements and future programs. Yeah, for this, uh, we finished the last season, 2018, with the Asaba uh, African Championship. I was at Asaba. African it is quite unfortunate that we did not see each other. Uh, it's so unfortunate and it didn't really go well with me the way I wanted to with my programs and I would say it didn't click. Mm. But but in Nigeria I won the Amar through. Yes. That came yes. all the way Ch all, Chama, all the way. Chama, something like yeah, that. Yeah, all the way US. from US. Yep. And for me it's, I was <laughs> really happy. <laughs> I was even really happy that, yes, we did it. How many women we did it? But because you were not really happy that you did not. Yes, I was not really happy that I was not the one. But for my teammate, she's uh, yeah. my teammate. I was happy. How many women? She's heavier yeah. than you do. Yeah, yeah, I is, saw her. I had yes. a discussion with her. Yes, definitely. And she's dark. Yes. Okay, let's talk about your future programs. For future, my target is towards 2020, training towards Olympic 2020. I'm working towards it for a few months, like in a month, now we'll be talking about first National Sport Festival, Abuja, I'm working towards that. So working which state are you representing? Uh, I want to know. Oh, I want fingers to know. The crossed. viewers want to oh, know. Fingers crossed. They we are about a month they away from. They must for it. A month <laughs> away from the event. So we want to know the state you will be representing. Suspect. You have to put your viewers. On I suspect. don't want to put them on. Yeah, so that they will keep watching. The, they will keep watching okay, to find okay. out. Okay. Okay. Let's talk about the national sports festival. Our uh, set up for Abuja. Come our first and second week in December. How will you describe the event? We've not seen this for a very long time. Yeah, everybody is excited. The athletes, they are excited, working really hard, pushing themselves. Because um, everybody really has been wanting to participate in the National Sports Festival. It's our own thing. It's where you really get to showcase your talent. You are appreciated by your own colleagues, by Nigerians, by everybody. Mm. Even your family get to come around. Mm -hmm. They don't have to pay a flight ticket. They just need to come around, cheer you up, and that's what we want to see. So everybody is working really hard. If you go to National Stadium, it's jam -packed. Everybody training, working hard. And we pray it become a big success. Okay, I want to ask you this tricky question. What have you been doing to be spawning her? To, <laughs> to be actually staying her up at all times? What I do is, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a kind of a, a German person. So we believe in... German Nigeria. German Nigeria. We believe in education. <laughs> so I have to push her first to school. She went to university in Germany to go and study. And then from there, in uh, Leipzig, she became the uh, so-called uh, ambassador. She became you know, one student there. You know, if you are coaching somebody and you don't talk about the pedagogies, reading books, studying, so that when the coach is talking, you'll be able to understand what mm. you're talking about. So I have to push her into some. And she did mention that. And she did. So, so as of now, she's the, she's the ambassador of the ITK from Germany. So that's that's a plus to her career. You know, so education force. So I push her into that. And then I try to encourage her also that, look, you can do it. So, so I want to do something now. Okay. Who is your husband? 
He's my husband. Of course I know. I just want the viewers to know. He's my husband and my coach. Of course. Okay. Let's talk about something before we call it with on this segment. Actually, let's look at what is really going on in sports in Nigeria. Yeah. It's really, really disheartening. Something happened after the Asaba 2018. And it was not a news that actually viewers at home always want to actually go with about the issue of the allowance giving to the habits. Can you just share the light on it? Yeah, for the allowances we are expecting, we didn't get what we wanted. And everybody had to... I will start like this. Nobody knew what we were going to be paid. Mm. If we go to competition ahead of time, we'll be addressed. This is what you'll be paid. So you get your mind prepared. So for this, for the, as about 2018, 18. we weren't told what we were going to pay, like the um, actual amount, what we are expecting. So everybody was just on assumption. Finally, the money came. They said, you have to sign. And we didn't see anybody. You have to sign if you need the money. Yeah. And everybody have to go back to their base. How much were you paid? Uh, can I remember how much I was paid? You can remember. Wow. It was a token for me. I thought it was a token yeah, because the was news a, was all around. It was a token. So And it was not really encouraging. Yes, because of all so the colours of your nation and actually being paid token. And for us it's a business. We have our family supporting mm -hmm. us, investing in us. Mm -hmm. So if you check out in business, you talk about the capital, what you invest in in the sport. Okay, how much I use for my transportation, feeding and other things like my supplement okay how much am i using in a month in six months preparing for this the competi the competition expecting that once you hit the target qualified to compete for nigeria you get paid and you get reimbursed you take out the expenses the expensive and you have something for yourself mm. so it wasn't really encouraging and but that that will not stop you from representing no the way. nation nigeria it will not stop us and it didn't stop anybody either. If you look at it, every athlete went back, we had broken. But I thank God for our coaches, thank God for our colleagues. Because they've been supporting you. They've guys. been supportive, talking, don't oh, give up. You have the talent, see you've qualified, you can qualify much more, you can do better. Okay, look at don't view the environs of Nigeria. Okay. Think about represent being participating in the Diamond League. Mm. Okay. Once you tell an athlete that, and they look at their present ranking or their present um, achievement, and say, oh, I'm a little closer if I just push myself more, if I just push. And thank God with the pushing, but we still need the support from corporate uh, bodies, from even individuals. There are some people that have that free money. They want they to, want to they dish out. They, they just want to, to give it. They, they want to give it up. Yes, so if they can just say, okay, let's check out Hammer Women and let's put in something. Let's, let's make them smile. Let me yes. them smile. Because okay. Hammer is expensive. <laughs> Hammer is expensive. You talk about the shoes, we get to order our shoes online. You can't get Hammer shoes here in Nigeria. You have to order online. If you talk about our equipment, Hammer, if you go online, check out how much it's being sold, we do all that by ourselves. Mm. And we do other jobs. Every hammer thrower, because we know ourselves. Every hammer, hammer women, we go all out. We encourage each other. Okay, what do you have? Okay, I have this. You want to order this shoe? Okay, I want to order this as well. Can you help me? We we work together as team, and we feel we should. They should look at us. <laughs> okay, we have a caller. Call it Celestine. Call it from Festa. Celestine, good afternoon. How are you doing? Hello, Celestine. Celestine? Oh, good afternoon. Oh, good afternoon. Yeah. How are you doing? Fine. Okay, go ahead with your question or contribution. Hello, Celestine? Okay, we lost that. Okay. Oh, for first I could represent it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you are residing here in Nigeria? Yes. For Lagos. Now. For now. So for you'll now. be actually taking your leave anytime soon? Yes. So let's talk about this on a final note. Let's talk about your family, your children. How, tell us how they are coping with you. Ah, they know everything. They've been supportive. Even if on my day off, they say, Mommy, are you not training? I say, at least let me have one day off. <laughs> so they've really been supportive. They've been pushing for my parents, for my siblings, for my neighbors, for my friends, for my, ah, for my husband. Ah, too much. Okay. So they've really been supportive. Even to my teammates, it's really awesome. 
to even people I don't know, they say, oh, we know you, we know when you started, you were taking the stick and you were like this, or at stadium, I really appreciate that. And that is what keeps me going. And to those who look at me in the face and say, you can't do that, you can't get anywhere, I say, wow. Well, you still say them thank you. I say thank you and watch out. <laughs> Keep your fingers crossed, mouth closed, and watch out what Queen is okay, doing. Because it's God <laughs> bringing out the best in me. Okay, thank you very much. Actually, I want to say you a big thank you, Kochi. Well, thank you so much. I hope to see you another day before the uh, uh, National Sports Festival. Festival. Okay. We should be looking out for that. Yes, and they we should keep be watching. looking out for you. Yes, before the event here. Yes. And during the event in Abuja. Yeah, they must mm. keep watching the program to know which state I'll be competing for. Okay. They must keep their fingers crossed, <laughs> locked up on the stage <laughs> and on the street. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Queen Fumila, your vicious one, we thank you for being a part of today's thank you edition. For having thank us. You. And for Kochi, Michael Lati, your vicious one, we see you a big thank you. Thank you so much for the grace you've given us to come to your station. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, we'll be going for this break. We want to take a look at what our Queen Fumila Yobisheson has been doing as an amateur. Then after that, sports beat will continue.